Welcome to the Veo 2.0 Dive Computer Tutorial. The Veo 2.0 has two buttons for ease of use. You have an Advanced and a Select button. To enter the menu, you'll tap the Advanced button. This will show your last dive. If there's any information to be shown, tap it one more time. It'll show temperature. Your fly and saturation time will be shown next. The fly is a 24-hour countdown clock. Saturation time would be until you have no nitrogen left in your system at sea level. You can get in to plan a dive. No planning is necessary before the dive, but if you know the depth of the next dive, you can go in and see how long you could stay there based on current nitrogen loading. Logbook would be the next screen. To enter any menu, you would hit the select button. Next menu is set F. F stands for the fraction of oxygen. This is where you would set up nitrox. If you're diving air, you do not need it to do anything to dive the computer. To set up nitrox, advance to the set F menu. The set F menu stands for the fraction of oxygen. This is where you'll set up the nitrox that you've analyzed in your tank. If you're not diving nitrox, but rather air, you do not need to change this setting. To enter the menu, you'll select the select button. To change from air to a nitrox percentage, hit the advanced button. The computer will show the current mix, as well as the maximum operating depth for that particular gas. To confirm the gas, hit select. It'll take you to the default 50% screen. The default 50% screen is a safety setting. If the gas default setting is turned off, your nitrox mix will stay at your current set rate for two hours from the time you activate the computer if you do not dive, or 24 hours from the time you get out of the water last. If you turn the setting on, if you dive any nitrox mix, air does not count, when you've been on the surface for 10 minutes, the computer will automatically default to 50% oxygen. This will get you accustomed to going into the computer before each dive and confirming that the nitrox setting is correct to what's in your tank. From the set F menu, hit advance once, go to set A. A stands for alarms. Inside the set alarms menu, you have the master audible alarm on or off. You have a DA, stands for depth alarm. You can set a maximum depth alarm the captain of the boat says don't go past 80 feet, you can set up a max depth alarm at 80 feet. EDT stands for elapsed dive time alarm. If you want a reminder after 40 minutes of dive time, you can set up an alarm for 40 minutes. Tissue loading bar graph alarm. You can decide at what point of tissue loading the computer will give you an alarm. DTR stands for dive time remaining. If you want to be reminded when you have seven minutes of dive time remaining, you can set the alarm at seven minutes. If you're diving nitrox, you can set the partial pressure of oxygen. You can set it from a 1.2 to a 1.6. The computer will display your partial pressure when you reach 0.2 below your set point. From the set alarms, hit the advance button one time, and you're in set utilities. Within set utilities, you have water activation. The water activation feature can be turned on or off. You can change the computer from imperial to metric. You can turn a deep stop on or off. A deep stop will do a safety stop for three minutes at 50% of your maximum depth. You must exceed 80 feet to activate this feature. Your safety stop can be turned on. You can set up a timer instead of a countdown. If you turn the safety stop on, you have the option of changing your stop depth from three minutes to five minutes, and the depth from 15 feet to 20 feet or 10 feet.
The set algorithm screen allows you to choose between the DSTAT algorithm, which is based off of modified Haldanian, The set algorithm screen allows you to change between the DSTAT algorithm, which is based off of a modified Haldanian, to the Z+, which is based off of a Buhlmann. The CF screen stands for conservative factor, which can be turned on or off. When turned on, your computer will use the calculations for the next highest elevation, making it more conservative. The glow setting is for your backlight. You can have it on for 10 seconds, turn it off, turn it on for five seconds, or 10 seconds. SR stands for sample rate. This is regarding download and the amount of data that can be stored prior to that data being overwritten by new information. On two seconds, the computer will hold roughly 160 minutes of avail available dive time before the chip starts to overwrite the data. You can change it to 15 seconds, which will give you roughly 10 hours. On 30 seconds, you'll get 20 hours. On a 60-second sample rate, you'll get roughly 40 hours. The set T screen is for time. You can change from month, day, or day, month. You can do 12, a 24 hour time. You can set the actual time of day and the minutes. And you can set the date. The set M screen is for mode. You have normal operation. If you enter gauge mode, the computer will no longer track oxygen or nitrogen absorption for a period of 24 hours from the time you surface. And you have free dive mode, which turns the computer into a free diving computer. Normal operation is probably what you want to stay in. To connect the VAO 2.0 to the interface cable, the computer needs to be in the norm screen. Connect the cable the 04.9606 into the, through the boot to the data port. You'll then have two minutes to initiate download. 